Hi there, it's Ashmere from InHouse again with another video in the Mastercam 2025 What's New series. In this video, I'll be talking about multi-axis pocketing and the enhancements in that toolpath. All right, let's get into it. So I've got a couple different operations here and I'm just gonna go ahead and backplot this. So the main thing here is that we have the ability to, with the new version, to wrap it out to a surface for a clearance area. So on this one here, it's set to uh, rapid distance and they've added this option for clearance type surfaces in here. So that's what I've done in this one. I just copied it down and you'll see that the clearance goes way higher compared to this one, but it's going up to a surface. So you'll notice it's touching the surface. So if I back plot this one, it starts from the top of the surface and then carries on through. And then eventually when it's done, it's gonna wrap it back out to that surface. And you can move that surface around and anything you want to it. Oops. And if I regen this one, now because it's set to surface clearance area, you'll see that it actually will wrap it up and touch this at the beginning of the end of the toolpath. And you can see that's exactly what it did. If I backplot, oops, it starts there, carries on through, and it's helixing way above there because I have stock in here, and it's looking at the actual stock. And once it's done its thing, it will wrap it up to that surface, which is higher now because I tipped it over. So added enhancement, which is adding it into the linking, uh, the clearance area here. Okay, so the next thing here is we're gonna use a helix. So they've added the option of when you rough to actually tilt during the initial helix. So I'll show you that here. I'll go to my Helix view here. So I'll go into either one of these previous ones. If I backplot this, you'll see the tool vector doesn't really change. The tool staying in the same orientation. And eventually when it gets to the bottom, it starts tilting with the surface. So what we can do here is with the Helix option enabled, if we enable tilt during the helix, I'll go back to my helix view. If I backplot this one, you'll see eventually once it gets to the bottom or top of the helix, it will start tilting. So now it's, it's tilting during the helix. So a really nice addition to give you more clearance once it starts doing the cuts at the bottom of the surface. And then the last thing they've added is, uh, I'm just gonna copy this one down and put it into the next group here. Copy and paste that guy. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna finish these red surfaces here. So I'm gonna change it to wall finishing. I'm going to pick all my red stuff. And maybe I'll pick a smaller tool. And one millimeter step over. And everything else is really the same. The really nice thing about it now is the ability to pick a start point. So I can pick a start point and say I want you to start right there. So if I say OK. It's gonna finish those walls, but it's gonna start right in that point that I picked. And you can see it does exactly that. It starts right at the point that I picked when it initially touches the surface, right there. It's right in line with this one. So that's new in 2025 as well. You can manipulate where to start your toolpath. So maybe I want to start over here. So the toolpath will be the same, except the start point will now be in that corner. And 
And that's exactly what it does. It goes into the corner and the first touch point right there will be in line with that point 